Hi guys and a happy new year to you. In today's video, I've been using the HP Reverb G2 now for more than 350 hours. I'm going to share with you what I like the most and whether you should purchase it in the year of 2021. A big welcome to VR Essentials if it's your first time to the channel. Really nice to meet you. We talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and VR educational entertainment. And of course, a huge welcome back to all our regular subscribers. It's always awesome to see you. This is officially today our first video of the year. As the title suggests, I've been using the HP Reverb G2 now for more than 350 hours since they sent it to us. I'm going to share with you the top things that I like the most about it and whether you should purchase it in the year of 20. 21. Now, right out of the box, I need to admit that it looks really super sexy. It's a very slick design and the moment you see it, you really want to put it on your head and just dive into VR. Undoubtedly, PC VR comes with a ton of benefits, one of which of course is going to be the comfort because the VR headset, unlike other VR headsets which are standalone and wireless, doesn't need any huge batteries inside and computing processes to make it run, which basically means when you have it on your head, it's super light, super comfortable, and you can play your VR experiences for a really long time. The Valve Index designed facial interface really does a great job in blocking any light whatsoever from the outside to reach inside of the headset. And it also comes with a nose blocker, which means any light below the actual VR headset is also going to be blocked out and you'll have a really nice immersive experience. Although it would have been preferable for Valve or HP to design the facial interface using more of a leathery kind of PU material, I need to admit that the cotton padding that they use is extremely comfortable. It takes the shape of your face pretty fast and really renders the gameplay in a really nice way. Throughout all my hours of gameplay with the right room setup, and the right lighting, I haven't had any tracking issues of any kind whatsoever. After setting up the VR headset correctly, I haven't had any latency or struggles with stutter of any kind whilst wearing the actual VR device itself. And with the controllers, since I was able to set up my room correctly with the right type of lighting, I don't really lose tracking of any kind at any point in time other than maybe some slight loss here and there, but nothing to make me feel like my gameplay has affected in any way at all. And of course, if you want to learn how to optimize the tracking for your gameplay, then do go and check out all the videos that are uploaded to the channel in the link description below the like button. Another area that I love about the HP Reverb G2 after having upgraded from the Oculus Quest 1, the Oculus Go, the DPVR 4K P1 Pro, as well as the Pico Neo 2 is of course undoubtedly the graphics. There is absolutely no screen door of any kind. You really have to look very hard to be able to notice any of these kind of things. And also what I really love about the graphics are the colors. In my experience, the blacks are really black. If you're going to play horror psychological kind of thrilling games, for example, the hinge where you put inside of a room and the first thing you notice is everything is so dark, you're really going to start getting the chills. But equally, when you're playing other VR titles, for example, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and you're high up into the sky and you start to look at the blue sky. The blue is so blue and we look at the cottony clouds. They look so nice and white. You start to feel the warmth of the landscape. After drilling the HP Reverb G2 for more than 350 hours, we also need to talk about the software, of course. Comparing it to the Oculus Quest when I was using the Oculus Link, hooking it up to my PC, I used to have so many issues having to reboot the actual VR device so many times that with the actual HP Reverb G2, all I have to do is plug it in, switch it on, and boom, I'm inside of my VR games. Very, very rarely do I have any issues when it comes to actually getting into the games when I want to play. Now, there's always room for improvement when it comes to the Windows Mixed Reality software, and do be part of the notification squad after you subscribe by enabling the notification bell so you don't miss the next video, which will be talking about all these improvements that need to be made. But I really love the fact that the collaboration between Windows and HP works really well. Most of the time when I'm inside of my VR gameplay, I don't get any interruptions. I don't get any sudden black screens. I don't get any failing of audio or microphone. Everything just seems to work perfectly. 
Guys, don't miss the next video, which I'll be talking about all the pitfalls after having used the HP Reverb G2 for more than 350 hours and whether you should get the HP Reverb G2 in the year 2021. But so far, honestly speaking, if you're watching this video from the moment it was uploaded to the channel all the way to let's say June or July, I definitely recommend the HP Reverb G2.